In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share your sheets and data inside of Smartsheet with other collaborators. I'm currently using the barcode inventory management template found in the Solution Center if you'd like to follow along, or you can use any sheet that you are using currently. And so here we have our sheet, and let's say that we've got this all figured out, and now we want to share this um, with someone on our team. So we can just go up to the top and click on the Share button. And here we have options to share to different people. So we can invite collaborators into our um, sheet. We can give them different permissions. We have our invite details below. There's a subject line and a message whenever you share that information. We have collaborator information at the bottom. We'll take a look at in a minute. We can cancel and then we can go ahead and share the sheet. So let's go ahead and let's say that we want to add someone to share with. Now I'm the only person on this account at this time, so I would need to add in someone new. So I can go over to the contact list icon where it says select contacts. I'm gonna select that. And then if I had contacts, they would be listed here and I could filter them if I wanted to. I could sort them by all contacts, my Smartsheet contacts, or my uh, team users and groups. And what I want to do at the bottom is I want to click add new so that we can create a new contact. When I do, it's going to say add to your private Smartsheet contact list. So who do we want to add? Um, let's just add Paul. And we'll hit OK. Now that contact has been added to my contact list. So I can click on their name and it will select them. And then I just hit close. Now you can see that Paul has been added to uh, this sheet and you can give them different permissions. You can also add in groups. So if you have created any groups, you can share a group um, of like say a marketing department uh, all at one time, which makes it really convenient. So here in the top right hand corner, we have permissions. So if we select this, you can see we can make Paul an administrator of the sheet. We can make Paul an editor and give them the option to share it with others. We can make them an editor and not give them the option to share with others. We can make them a commenter so they can view and they can comment, but they can't edit. Or we can just make them a viewer where they can only view the sheet. Let's say that we just want to make them a viewer. So we click on that. And then below we have our invite details. And so under subject, it says Jeremy Deegan invited you to view the barcode inventory management sheet. We can put in a message. Hey, Paul, here is the updated inventory management sheet you requested, Jeremy, okay? Then at the bottom, there's an option to notify people. So um, do we want to uh, have a notification sent to them once this sheet is um, sent out to them? We'll leave that on. And do we want to CC myself? So do we want to make a copy of this ourselves? We'll turn that on also. Now below that is an option that says collaborator zero and you don't see anything, but go ahead and click on that. And when you do, you can see the people who are collaborating on this already. So I'm here because I'm the admin of the sheet. So you can see I'm the owner there. And then we have a couple other options. We have a sheet link that we can give to people. Um, so if, you know, say we wanted to copy and send this to someone instead of sending it through a message, we could actually copy this link and share this link with them. Um, and then we also have a default view and it says none. If we click on edit, it's gonna ask us what kind of view we want people to see when they come to this uh, sheet. So first we have filters. There are no filters set up right now, so that's turned off. We have a view, so we can give this a grid view, a car view, a Gantt view, or a calendar view. So let's say that we wanted to open this up in a car view um, when they open it, we can select that. And then it says car view lanes, what lanes do we want them to see? And we could say reordered by. And so we'll go ahead and hit save. And then whenever they uh, open this up, it will be opened up in a car view. So once we have all of the information that we want to share out, we can go ahead and click share sheet. Now it says, uh, give full capabilities to free users. The following people you're sharing the sheet with are free users with limited capabilities. Grant them a license to unlock their full potential. Um, we don't want to do that at this time, so we'll just click skip. And it is going to send that out to Paul. And now you can see that they have become a collaborator 
on the sheet and they have those privileges to be a viewer. And then here, if we want to change that, we can make them the owner, the admin, editor, commenter, viewer, and so forth. So then we can go ahead and hit close. And then that notification and email will be sent out to them. They can click on that. They'll be accepted into here. And then when they show up, um, they will actually see it in a card view. So um, it'll pop up and this is this will be the way that they'll be able to view that information. And then they'll be able to change that if they would like to. But basically, that is how you're able to share sheets inside of Smartsheet.